Alright, hello everybody. My name is Zagan, and this is my entry into the Rogue Deck Builder 25 Ticket Challenge. Lately I've been getting more and more into the financial side of Magic. Um, I, I consider myself first and foremost to be more of a competitive player, just not so much on the financial side, but I decided this was a good good way to jump into it. I actually frequent the MTG Finance subreddit, and I'm an avid listener to Brainstorm Brewery, so I kind of took some of what I learned there, and I'm hoping to apply it to a real-life situation now. Um, without much further ado, I wanted to reveal my picks for the tw uh, 25 ticket challenge. Well, that's, sorry, wrong window. No one would ever want to spec on se seance, right? Alright, so here's my real picks. Um, first off, I wanted to say that I was, like, my strategy initially was looking for some really under-costed mythics that were uh, in RTR. Um, there were a lot that were in the six-ticket range. You can look at, there's like Rakdos Return, Tristani, Veraska, and maybe even Master Biomancer are all mythics that I see that could possibly be on the rise come rotation. However, my problem with them is having the 25 ticket constraint really makes it hard to have more than just... I basically, I don't want to have four mythics and then just a small handful of extra rares, and I just, I feel like I can maximize my profits if I have something a little bit different. So that's why Prime Speaker's Agana was really the best fit for what I was looking for. I picked five of her up at 3.56 tickets each which only sets me back just shy of 18, uh, 18 tickets on her. Um, you can see right here on MTG Goldfish, uh, 3.56. I think uh, picking up some of her and putting me at about 18 tickets in is really going to save me a little, uh, bit, a little bit of extra room for, ex for the rares. I decided to go for Merciless Eviction as my, as my big uh, rare spec. Um, six mana does not look like it's going to be a huge investment come rotation. The exile clause actually looks like it's going to be extremely relevant uh, with all of the gods running around, and even just being able to wipe enchantments could be huge in the next set. I feel like the format's definitely going to be slower, so the six mana is much more doable. And honestly, I really have been liking a lot of the black cards that have been, that have been spoiled thus far. So I feel like coming in at just 0.26 tickets, there's a lot of room to grow right there. The last card that I was actually I actually picked up was the Firemane Avenger. Firemane Avenger, I missed the boat on being able to pick him up at 5 cents each, like they said on uh, the one episode of Brainstorm Brewery about two weeks ago. But I figure a Lightning Helix on a stick for 14 cents each is still not something I'm sad about dropping a little bit of a little bit of extra tickets on. Uh all in all, with I bought fourteen Firemane Avenger, twenty Merciless Eviction, and five Prime Speakers Agana, which put me back uh twenty four point nine six tickets total. Um honestly I'm really happy with those choices. And I'm actually really excited to see what direction everyone else is going to be taking this. I saw a lot of people were specking on Merciless Eviction, but I don't think anyone went quite all in on them as much as I did. Um, I actually uh, I want to thank Rogue Deck Builder for this opportunity. I, I'm really excited about it. I'm excited to see what other people are doing. And I just think it's a great opportunity for the community. And also, please feel free to like rate my specs, uh, put down any suggestions. If you think they're good, if you think they're not, I'd just like to see, uh, I'd like to get some community input, and good luck everyone else in this contest. Thanks.